Hey everybody, it's Charles Ivory here at the, uh, My Econ Business Center here in Hinesville and I'm with my lovely daughter, Deja, and Hi. we're here for a lunch and learn. Okay, in our previous videos, we talked about why people can't attain financial success. And we talked about the two objectives. Now, Deja, give me a recap on the two objectives. So our two objectives are current lifestyle and future lifestyle. Current lifestyle is paid for by labor, and future lifestyle comes from investments. Right. So we have to pay for our current lifestyle with our labor. This is why we go to work, so we can make sure that we keep a roof over our head, food on our table, clothes on our back. Uh, but at some day, we're going to stop working. Either we're going to get tired of working, too old to work, or whoever we're working for no longer need our service, and then we're going to have to rely on investments. Now, most people can't obtain the two objectives because of the four challenges. Uh, Deja, what are those four challenges? Our four challenges are inflation, taxes, which is one-third, debt, which is one-third, and big businesses, which is your final one-third. Okay, so today we're going to talk about one of the four challenges that's stopping everybody from becoming wealthy, and that's debt, okay? And the reason why you're going into debt is because of the inflation and the taxes is robbing you of your money. So have you ever uh, went out and got a car or a home or applied for any credit cards? They're always asking you, what is your gross income? But you're not living off your gross, you live off of your net. So Daisy, give me an example of what's really happening. Well, let's say you make $50,000 a year. You're taxed at 30%, which means you only bring home $35,000. Right, so you're bringing home $35,000. Uh, so you go out and borrow money so you can be made whole again. But anytime you go out and borrow money and go into debt, there's something that's called interest. Now, Deja, what is, is interest? Well, interest is the penalty you pay in advance, to the right to own something in advance that you cannot afford. Okay. So, now, if you're taking notes, you may want to write that down. Okay? Uh, she says, interest is a penalty you pay for the right to own something today that you really can't afford. So, uh, let me tell the story. Okay? We're gonna tell a story about a family that's that's going on a Disney trip, right? Right. And a family of four, let's say we're gonna spend five thousand dollars. I don't know how much Disney trip costs, but we're gonna use five thousand dollars in this example. And let's say they put it on a credit card, and their minimum payment would be a hundred dollars. Now, what we have to do now, we have to find out what's the interest rate on that hundred dollars. So, Deja, if if I didn't have good credit, or maybe I'm in the the low mid 600 what's a, a good interest rate that you think most people would have I would say about 21% so let's use 21% in this example 21% all right now when most people see the 21% they think that's simple interest but that's actually compound interest so Deja what is simple interest so simple interest is is, is if, if I made 20% on $100, which, may, which really means I made $120. Okay, so uh, she had $100 at 20%. She made $120, right. But that's not what's going on here. See, this 21% is compound interest, which means that it's, it's stacking on top of each other daily. So what we have to do, we have to figure out what is our monthly interest rate really is. So, uh, Deja, how do we determine what our monthly interest rate is? Well, we take 21% and divide it by 12, which will give us 1.75%. Okay, so that's 1.75%, and that's, that's compounding every day for the month. And uh, what our interest payment would be, how do we determine our interest payment? Well, we do. We take our decimal and move it to the left twice, so we get a mo money, and we do point zero one seven five. Okay, we well, just just hang on. Okay, so we got to take the percentage and turn it into money, like she said. So she moved it over uh, two spaces, and then what we got to do once we turn it into money? Let's 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 write that up here so they can see it. Just just write on this line right here. Okay, 
So we got 0 0.0175, and what do we have to do? We times that by $5,000. And that would give us 87 and 50 cent a month. $87.50 a month. So your interest payment is $87.50. That's what the bank is getting. That's, that's your interest payment. Now, your principal payment, how do we determine what our principal payment? Well, our principal payment will be $12.50. Okay. Now that's the difference between the hundred dollars, the minimum payment, and the eighty-seven fifty. So the bank makes eighty-seven fifty, and what's credit to you is twelve dollars and fifty cent. So uh, basically, what what the bank is saying is, if you give me a hundred dollars, I'm gonna give you credit for twelve dollars and fifty cent until you pay off this five thousand dollars. Now we really need to figure out what's the reality of that. So, how do we figure out what's the reality of that? Well, I take my $5,000 and I divide it by twelve fifty, which means I will be paying on it for 400 months. For 400 months. Now, that's, that's a long time, but we really don't know how long 400 months is. So, how long is 400 months? Well, we take our 400 months and divide it by 12, which will give us 33 years. Okay, so now we really figuring out what our sentence is, right? And that's why we wrote it here, your sentencing, okay? So we're gonna be paying on this $5,000 loan for 33 years, okay? That's a long time, right? right. So I'm paying $12.50 for 33 years until I pay off the $5,000. That's a whole lot of money. How much is the bank is really making? Well, we take our $87.50 and we times that by 400 months, which means they'll be making $35,000. $35,000 on a $5,000 uh, vacation. I paid $30,000 more than the vacation actually costs. Now, when you understand this, you're going to get rid of this, okay? Your credit card. Y'all start cutting them up and stuff like that, okay? Uh, again, there's two types of debt. We have uh, installment debt and we have revolving debts. Credit cards are revolving debts. What is installment debt? Installment debt is a debt with a term. Okay, and? We, we, well, we pay installment debt last. Okay, so installment debt has a term. Revolving debt is a debt without a plan. So we're going to pay our installment debts off first and we're gonna attack the revolving debt, okay? Now guess what? Uh, I work with a company called My Econ. We teach this financial uh, strategy, and, and the good thing about it is that your government had came up with laws to help you pay off your credit card debt. And if you wanna know how to get the government to pay off your debt, because it's the government that got you in debt in the first place with inflation and taxes,